uh, thank you for coming to this uh, Rakuten uh, Technology Conference 2013. And I'll, uh, my talk is uh, I'll show you the presentation in, in the presentation in the, uh, infrastructure and why we try to make uh, new things. And so the, I'll show you the and uh, current uh, Rakuten infrastructures and. Uh, and of course, uh, we are planning to expand more and more, and so that I'll show you the parts. Currently, we are thinking to the next steps. Okay, first, uh, first step, uh, sheet is uh, my self-introduction. Uh, my name is Osami Yasaki, and my role is uh, generally is a networks and cloud engineer and the manager role. And uh, and also, um, basically, I'm a network engineer, and so that I'm a committee member of the Japan's network of data groups. And uh, my uh, recent job is the project manager of the designer of the Rakuten new private cloud system. We are calling RIS systems and Rakuten new data center infrastructure. So uh, this is today's agenda. And first, uh, first one is the introduction and the current uh, situation in the network side and the cloud side. And so the and small, and I, I touched uh, our legacy infrastructure. And three, why? We try to make, try to change our infrastructure, and four is uh, now new infrastructure. I'll show you. And five is uh, some of the cases uh, from the new uh, infrastructure to the services. And last one is the future plan. What we are thinking next steps. Okay, first one. And uh, in general, and uh, rocket infrastructure in uh, uh, located data center located in the Tokyo metropolitan area. And each location, uh, the active data center, and all of the data center providing uh, each Rakuten, each bus services. And uh, of course, uh, we are uh, focusing on the cost and scalability and the disaster recovery. recovery. And uh, as you know, uh, the Rakuten, each bus service is a very, very huge uh, site. And so the, we, we have the tone of the service, and so that we are making the uh, private cloud systems and for the, uh, this uh, each of the services, and but uh, how to control the tone of the servers, and so we are making the self uh, automation tools and uh, and huge resource control systems and networks, scalable networks uh, to and uh, catch up with each and uh, growing systems. Next, and this is um, this is the first time to show you our uh, traffic uh, in the past recent three three years four years. And uh, four years ago, uh, our traffic volume is uh, shown um, and uh, 20 gigabits only. But uh, this past three years, uh, three years ago, and uh, content volume is uh, increased, increased big. And also the PCs and uh, performance up. And so the content is, uh, became uh, rich and video streamings and uh, high resolution images. And so the image traffic is increasing in rapidly, and the big event, Supercell. And uh, from the two years ago, and we uh, started Supercell with the TV commercial and, uh, and some of the uh, mass media using to advertise the uh, Rakuten sales. So that after the result, our traffic volume is almost double from the uh, recent time. And as you know, our uh, baseball team is, uh, won the uh, championships. And so we heard the victory sale, and uh, wow, we can very, very. I also surprised that this traffic volume in the breaks the 100 gigabits, and so the finally 140 gigabits we hit. And this is a more focus on, uh, on supercell traffic. And uh, uh, recently, the, or, as you can see, the and red bar is uh, our CDN uh, traffic. CDN means the content delivery networks. So the, all the topics we could handle by the data center, but the volume is very, very high. And so that we are using the CDN services and to feed your uh, browser and uh, mobile phone uh, and or to the images. And so the, you know, and the base uh, traffic uh, volume is uh, stable, but the image traffic is growing, 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 and the victory state the point of view is uh, over double. And, uh, Contents, contents are all, and the and the user trend is also changing. And this slide chart is uh, and GMS GMS is uh, our uh, the sales volume is the ch chart trend two years ago, and the smartphone traffic is only twenty, but up now over thirty, and maybe the 
this end of the year or the next year, maybe this chart will be closed and smartphone, tra smartphone share will be the uh, uh, majority. So the very, very, uh, this is very, very and, uh, important data, and so that we really, really focus <coughs> on uh, mobile smartphones and tablet traffic. And uh, so the, this is, uh, that, that is a very, very huge traffic, and so the what's the and platform we are uh, and providing the, this and uh, services? Yes, private cloud system. <coughs> and so we started and the private cloud system and from the last year. But this, at the third point, it's a very, very a small model, uh, just only about 300 uh, volumes of the uh, private cloud system. But the uh, user, re user require, request, our user mean is our system developer and system engineer, application engineer, and want to use more and more and give me more resources for me. So that we, uh, we prepare the and resources and uh, of course, for the supercell. Uh, this, uh, this chart is a, a very, very huge number, but uh, and, uh, this is almost double. Uh, double means for the year in the supercell uh, resource enhancement. So the uh, and application engineer, chief engineer is dramatically uh, shift to the legacy physical infrastructure to virtual uh, pri uh, private cloud infrastructure. And uh, this year, growing, 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 back three. Uh, this is, uh, uh, some, some time decreasing, but this, uh, this is caused by the data center relocation. Uh, but uh, naturally, our trend is, is also increasing. So the, our private cloud, cloud volume is uh, almost hit 10,000. So the, maybe next year, I can't imagine, but uh, 20,000, 6,000 that uh, we will make uh, for the, our services. And uh, shift is, uh, is uh, budget, uh, physical to budget shifting. Uh, this chart shows the uh, and the last year is uh, mainly created for the cre uh, created as a physical server for the and uh, the environments. But uh, this year, over ninety percent server is constructed by the budget. Budget means a private cloud system. Is the so the generation this past year is a generation dramatically changing to the physical to the budget. Okay, and the next is uh, our legacy infrastructure. Uh, this is a bit, 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 just one slide, and uh, our legacy model is uh, very, very, uh, lots of the segment and lots of the servers, lots of the switches, and lots of the spaces we are spending uh, for the locked into the system. That's uh, and lots of the system means is uh, how to manage and how to control, how to operate. If the trouble happens, how to find the issue. And so the, we are spending the lots of the human resources to keep this environment. So that uh, I'm feeling that this is not so good. And so the, we, we can't and provide the, and recent blockchain each best and increasing increasing uh, situation. So the, and two years ago, and I started the new project. Two project one is the private cloud system, and the next is the data center system. So why? Yes, this is the reason why. So the motivate is a, is a four keywords, and simplization. So more simple. More simple means easy to manage and easy to operate. And synchronization. Synchronization means the assisted assisted for the automation, but the, we are generally using. Uh, for the, our private cloud system, through management system. Uh, yeah, example is a private cloud and a public cloud system. Example, AWS has a very, very nice uh, user window system. Yes, user, user interface. And other uh, Nifty cloud and the Sakura cloud is also they have a good uh, tool system. Yes, of course, we need a tool system to our system engineers and application engineer, and easy to customize and use the uh, RIS resource system. And automation. Automation is uh, if, and after the and prepare the infrastructure, but we need to prepare the servers. So the, our web server, yes, over a few hundred servers to for the uh, web, our www.rakten.co.jp system. And so the, we really need the automation system. And so, of course, we uh, check for the other and, and automation system using, and so the easy to expand the resources and more and more. And finally, yes, cost. So the last infrastructure is uh, lots of the units and lots of the server means in the we, we need to spend uh, more and more human resources. So the human resources is a uh, 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 key cost 
model so that we really, really we need to relax the cost. So that this is the four and the key change. But yes, we are the engineers, so that we want to try new things, new technology and new, techno new technology we want to change. Uh, we want to try and change and use. So the, our challenging space is the Rakuten company has a big development unit and also infrastructure team is over 100 members and want to challenge new networks, server strategies and systems. So that this is a very, very key important why we try to change the current systems. So uh, the new infrastructure, so that after the GIS motivate, so the parts we are making. And this is a, that's our concept model. And the recent model is just for the Rakuten Ichiba services. But the new uh, infrastructure is uh, for the all of the Rakuten group systems. Rakuten group system is that we have, the, as you know, Rakuten banks and securities and <coughs> our the overseas subsidiary is the Pride.com in England and Kobo is from the Canada and the Press Minister from the Paris and all of the and and subsidiary included the overseas company is uh, really needs to the, this kind of the system and so the, we are preparing to the all of the uh, subsidiary for the, this and the new data centers and RS private cloud systems and network systems. And, and also, our system is the uh, back-end shared infrastructure, so that our subsidiary, all of the subsidiary can use our system. Huge private cloud resources and storage, huge storage systems, and distributed storages, and of course, block storage, and backup, logging, and uh, maybe the other uh, big data, or the, we have the tone of the service engine, but uh, we could uh, provide uh, from the back-end system in this infrastructure, so that this really helps for the, all of the system and the making the group synergy. And this is and the network and overview is a, and uh, we oh, sorry and we and make we uh, at this time we made the availability zone. Availability zone is the and separation. So the big big system and the big networks yes and very very nice. But uh, if something happen with this big infrastructure. All of the system will be crashed, and the impact is, uh, I can imagine, very, very big. So the, and the availability zone model is uh, logically separation. Of course, we want to separate the data center level, but uh, this data center is a new data center, just only one. Of course, we have a recent uh, several data center, but in this data center, and we uh, separated the and router level. And so that separates the network fabrics and RS, this private cloud system, and so the, to avoid the, each kind of the an internal data center uh, disaster risks. And uh, network, try, not network challenges is uh, we are at this time, legacy model is uh, and the distributed model, layer three switches, cross switches, aggregation switches, and layer two switches is the general model. But at this time, we chose the fabric model. Fabric model is, is the least spine architecture, and uh, in the suburbs, is around here, and uh, if the server communication to the each server, just uh, only just a uh, communication is leave side and uh, go spine and back to leave. All of the traffic pattern is same, one two three, one two three, one three. It's so the very simple, and uh, we, we can easy to uh, and monitor and uh, and and keep and qualities and of course uh, keep operation management. So the and uh, of course. Easy to scale out model. Uh, I, uh, next, next slide I show you the first scale out system. Uh, but, uh, and uh, just a server, leaf, spine, leaf, server. All of the, all of the server, same hop, same uh, latency, and same track pattern. So the easy to operate and enhance and standardize the quality. This is an important thing, standardized quality. All of the servers is the same level to uh, the same le as same level in the network infrastructure and scale up system. And the fabric, fabric model is the physical model is here, but uh, if we need to expand, enhance the more and more traffic and just add the spine, no need to change more, just only add the spine. And the configuration and detect the spine model and uh, easy to expand the traffic, traffic links to the double. And, uh, 
This and public networks is holding the private cloud as a system and physical server system and as a shared service system is all of that and the system communicate with these public networks. And if they need to communicate the, for the internet, it just go up from the this public to the internet side. This is the network side. And next is our private cloud system. In 2011, and we are using, generally using the physical servers. And as you know, physical server is, uh, and the price is high, and also and preparation period is uh, our average is uh, six weeks. Six weeks in the need to the order and procurement and the mounting and cabling and power up and the media insert, setups and connections and modify and verify and then the servicing. And so we take the long, long time uh, to the, uh, for the services. But at the last year and in uh, our systems, yes, and we are using the VM model, virtual machine. So the, we reduce the time to the six weeks to five days. Yes, five days is not so uh, short, but at this time. But I'm sure it's more and more model. And at this time, VM is uh, very, very uh, quickly. Uh, just a click and resource set, CPU and memories and networks, and click, 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 and then wait uh, 30 seconds. Yes, we're ready to use the virtual machine. And, but uh, still, we, uh, we need to uh, human, human operate for the strategies and networks and firewall balancer. And, uh, and as a system, so that at now, five days we need. But uh, this, please, please, please uh, check price. Hardware price and the facility price is very, very huge. So that our, in the average model, price and one server's cost and RS cost. The center cost is dramatically down. And storage cost, yes, uh, uh, same as, and computing resources. Yes, we can use uh, all of the resources in the uh, RS system, and so dramatically down, and so that after the result is uh, over 50% uh, cost uh, reduction by the uh, last generation system. And next is uh, our roadmaps. In the current and uh, RS system is uh, uh, Reinforced architecture and high density server. And we are using the uh, high, high, very, very high density servers, and one lock is over 10 kV air, and so like, like a heater, and so the, and uh, heating, heating, and so we need also the need uh, prepare the extra cooling system for this and high density servers, and premium high end storages and block storages, and so the this tone of the server uh, is uh, needs to the very, very high quality and stable storages. And so that we prepare the uh, high end and also the cost is nice model. And so the commercial hypervisor, and maybe as you know, the major hypervisor we are using on this private cloud system and uh, speedy server construction, <coughs> RS management system. And next is the now, is the now the phase two. Phase two now is the multi challenge structure is the pitch we are making. And so the and the RS system is now currently mostly more mostly and for the lactin each bad system. But the, and for the subsidies is and we need to prepare the and control and, and control and or control and administration and administration. So that we need to separate and the virtual tenant model is the feature we are making for the subsidies. And the next step is the BCP. And the current data center is in the uh, east side, mainly east side. And of course, uh, we, we are uh, considering the just uh, model, but uh, expand west, not the decided location, but west was the uh, other location, Hong Kong or Singapore or the United States or the European. And so the making the uh, disaster and other system, and we collaborate with uh, each region system to increase our uh, availability and enhance more and more. As is our RS system. And so the next step is uh, our, we have the, of course, we have the good database system and the monkey will be switch in the database system. Thank you for calling me these rainy days. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's start. Now, 
I would like to introduce our database platform in LabDev. <coughs> My name is Shuichiro Makiaki. Uh, please call me Maki. I joined LabDev as new grass last year, and I'm working for database and storage, storage technology for next generation LabDev infrastructure as a service. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, today's agenda. Uh, first, I have, uh, to be honest, I have to say past our database problems first. And I'd like to introduce Crosslex. Uh, this is a new database server. And our DevOps management in Graphic. First, uh, past MySQL problems. We, uh, uh, Rakuten is a big MySQL users. So may, many MySQL instances, uh, databases, and big data is running in many databases and many instances. So, but we have to sharding manually, <coughs> and we have to uh, manage sub many servers manually, and application Developers have to wait a lot of time, but you, um, application developers cannot maintenance online. But eighty percent of CPU is not used actually. So we need a new database platform for other service. Then we got Crossrex. Uh, Crossrex is an apply database server. Crosslex is compatible with MySQL and distributed and scalable, but many database solutions say the same thing. But Crosslex guarantee exit, so you can use transaction or relational database management system strictly and automatic for tolerance. Uh, Crosslex benefits is. So we don't have to do sharding manually because Crosslex <coughs> distribute data automatically. And we don't have to do forward tolerance manually because it's automatic in Crosslex. And application servers can access single point VRB. And Crosslex supports online schema change. Uh, this Figure shows our current <coughs> database clusters environment. In production, we have two clusters for BCP, and these clusters are connected with bidirectional replications. And for staging and development environment, we have single node cluster. Uh, it's using software version of Crosslex on areas which it was sensitive. And of course, we are taking backup every day and every time <coughs> in the grass surface. And of course, we are monitoring database with Splunk and Pandora FMS. Uh, this graph shows usage in production. Now, uh, over one 150 databases are running in two clusters, and database, uh, database size is about 2 terabyte in two clusters. So, of course, I said I introduce database as a service. So, I will introduce our database as a service. So, now for classics, no lead time, a uh, charge on demand, charge on DB side. So it's like uh, RDS in uh, AWS. But in addition, we create private path integration and self management tool. So application developers can manage database or change something when they <coughs> like. So 
my previous two demos in videos. So let's create application in one. So what I have to do uh, first, create an application yourself. And login our private pass environment and push your application in one over. Then you can push your application in our test center. So let's show the video. I create very simple application. This application is Sinatra application also. <coughs> Yeah. Very simple case application. This application shows connection information of databases such as host name and port number and username and password and ah DB name. Very simple application. And then I have to log in our private parser environment, uh, which is called RPAS, <coughs> and login. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I'm not good at typing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, there's no applications now. And push the very simple application. Application name is Take confidence. Yes, this is yes. Yes, Classic. So you can create Classic services and repeat it. Enter without thinking. Yes. Now you can push your application with the database system here. This video is about one minute. So you can push your application in one minute with relational database system. The second demo is uh, our self-management portal system. Developers can check database status and information and backup and restore and manage privileges. So first, first, Let's see the result of application which pushed last time. Oh. This is the database connection information, database name, host, port, name, username, and password. Now, logging our database management portal system, and you can see your databases but I forgot the database name. <laughs> yes, yeah. Here, yes. And you can see status or tables, privileges, sessions, workers. And yes, yeah, sessions, or oh, there's no session. And you can take Backup manually and restore manually. Yes, let's take a backup. You have to wait some time. Yes. Yes, you can take backup successfully and you can restore it from it. And you can manage privileges in where is. Okay. Okay. So you can manage privileges such as select insert update date and you can change the password here. Yes, okay. Uh, demo is finished. Uh, let me wrap up. Our Lactens database platform is one is Crossrix and our bus. Uh, which is our private 
fast environment, and third is self-management tools. So I believe Rackdance application developers can enjoy their work. I believe. Thank you. Uh, Maki, thank you for the uh, database, database part. And I'm back in my part, and I'll show you a uh, case is case from the, our new uh, data center infrastructure is uh, case one. Yes, and for the supercell, and uh, as you know, and last, last time is I show you the and very big traffic volumes and uh, resource enhancement, and also the and applications teams is and uh, need for the expand after the uh, heavy impact, uh, heavy peak traffic. And so the uh, application team request is, uh, please, please give me uh, the 50 or the 100 server for the next uh, night. So yes, of course we can provide uh, your resources. And so the daytime is, uh, daytime is that uh, we don't have the uh, heavy, heavy traffic, and so we have the time, 24 time, for the next night spike time, and uh, we pre prepare for the quickly and each and super cell and the victory cell resources from the, our RS environments. And next case is uh, our data center infrastructure, infrastructure is a very, very flexible model. And so the data center migration is a legacy data center. Data center is uh, using the and VLAN, tone of the VLANs and how to manage and of course the switches vendor is a difference and so the hard, hard to migrate. That's the this infrastructure, and we prepare for the layered networks extended from the new data center to old data centers, and and catch up the old networks to the new public networks. This means is a very uh, for the server engineer is a very important thing. No need to change the network settings; just care about your application. So the yes, it is a, a very very hard challenge for us. This is why the tone of the Britain is coming to the new data centers. And but the server engineer is uh, yes, no need to take the, this time and just only care about the application to migrate and just only switch <coughs> the gateway address, MAC address only. And this is uh, really very, 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 very helps for the server engineer to decrease the uh, OPEX. It's uh, a good case. And future. And this, this is uh, uh, at the, me and Maki uh, showing the current situation with the Lactens infrastructure. But next step, what we're thinking, big three keywords is here more fast delivery and self service portal. And second is a BCPDL. Of course, if uh, the earthquakes again around the this Tokyo metro area, I can't imagine what happens after the disaster. And so the, we really need to avoid the location and the region risks. <coughs> and five, as you know, we are, uh, this presentation is in uh, uh, showing the global expansion. So Rakuten Ichiba is, uh, Rakuten Ichiba is uh, the focus on the Rakuten Japan. But the reason why it is a Japan services. We have the, uh, I'll show you the play.com in England is for the England and users and Prime Minister for the Paris and the Canada's Kobo, Kobo is a whole of the world at the book system and buy.com, Rakuten.com shopping in for the uh, USA and so the we and really want need to expand for the global. So the first delivery is yes, last time. Not the first five days. That's uh, we plan to the more and more reduce the three minutes included the uh, network systems and so the, we are now uh, planning to make the PDC virtual data center. And uh, this virtual data center included storage, firewall, networks, and load balancer, IDS, and uh, any other kind of system and uh, which user wants uh, resources included this VDC. And so the user is uh, easy to make VDCs and VM networks and click, 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 click then after three minutes you can use uh, for the services. <coughs> it's for the, from the, our Lactin private infrastructure to the Lactin's company. And the PCPDL, and this is uh, and location is not decided yet. Currently, I I show the Osaka's, but uh, I don't know 
is Hong Kong or Singapore? I don't know, but uh, uh, this is the basic image. But Tokyo area, if something happen, yes, availability zone will be linked to the other side and the BCP DR database, database backups and uh, and application backups and so network traffic, yes, GSLB, global server load balancing function, will shift to the Tokyo to other locations and to keep. And if something happens in the maybe, maybe my my plan is a few few minutes, of course few minutes, but maybe around 10 minutes or 30 minutes, could transfer other location to keep provide the active internet service for the Japan and for the world. And global expansion. In the red area, is the, we already covered in the whole of the world, in uh, and Japan and Asia Pacific, and uh, North America, and Brazil, and the European. And so we, uh, now we are planning to expand more and more, and so the challenging is waiting for, for us. And so the, and of course, data center, networks, storages, and database server, and so the, so we are very, very exciting. So the what we try to next steps. So and so the we and about the 100 infrastructure engineer is exciting to the global expansion. And so and how to link it to the Japan in the Japan is by the very, very centralized and also user data and uh, credit card numbers and personal information is uh, mostly we are handling and but the user ID is uh, linked with uh, each services and so how to linkage with the good quality and if something happened but how to and uh, reroute the, and, uh, the, and back up the system so lots of things waiting for us and so we keep trying to change things for the future and the next year for the Rakuten Group company. That's all from the, our presentation and uh, if you have uh, some uh, questions or other suggestions or the comment and feel free to and ask me and please uh, give your hands. Thank you. And the question is the uh, underlying is using the commercial product or the open and kind of product. The example is OpenStack or the CloudStack and oh, CloudStack is the uh, commercial one. And in at now is we using the commercial products. And but the next step is uh, of course we we are thinking the OpenStack or the CloudStack and the other open resources. This is why the and uh, and the commercial products we need to pay. Lot of money, <laughs> and so the but yeah, let's have lots of money. <laughs> no, no, no. But the, and in the system side is always compared with S and public system, and so the we really need to uh, decrease the cost is, and also that we are just a cost center. Uh, our and benefit model is from the Rakuten Ichiban service, and so that we are just a two, two. So the, and we every time need to consider the how to reduce the cost. <laughs> and any question in English okay then Japanese okay. I can read uh, translate okay. Yeah. Ano, Nihongi is right. Tokyo to Osaka the Ryoho to Dai to see the Onajoni, ma, Chisega Tiki toka, Osaka and then Janai to Mon, is it? So let the Mimano has the talk, disaster recovery, Kochia, Sindra Kochia. Do you can I got a lot of uh, that question is, uh, and just a recovery point is, is Osaka is enough or is not? Yes. And we saw that, and uh, at, at, at the last, last slide, is, I, I tell you that Osaka is uh, not uh, and decided yet. And so the, we, we, have, we already expanded the global, so that we have the, we can choose a major point in Singapore, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, or the Okinawa, yes, Okinawa, Hokkaido, yes. We have the, the chance, and so that now still we are concerning which location is the better to keep the service of the Tokyo.
Yeah. Sorry, actually, I'm, I'm the employer right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you. <laughs> Sorry, just the question. Anyway, I just want to know about the security issue. Okay, so I, my question is how secure the uh, customer information like credit card and other information in our network? Mm -hmm. Okay, because they have a lots of security issues in Japan also. I mean, many other companies leak their information, customer information. So how secure is our info? I mean, uh, how secure our infrastructure? For customer information, how is how much how I mean how much security it is? Yes. Yes, and security issue is a very very important important and serious and uh, things. And so the, our infrastructure is the yeah of course as you know and the perfect solution nothing. But the, so the so the we we have the ton of the and the, and the counter action and the monitoring system and the, we have the good and the security and the more security offices. And so the sometimes up and uh, advise us that to this, this model is not so good for the change here. And also infrastructure side is uh, separate, 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 and the firewalls and the uh, HL and, uh, and several uh, actions to protect uh, each uh, networks and servers. But uh, yes, this is a uh, eternal uh, fight to, <laughs> to protect the securities. その and separate the networks. And so if the, and something happens in here, and this and impact influence the both of the lines, uh, it's a not a real system. And so the how to avoid. Yes, and we and strongly ask the and, uh, and provider uh, entity or the KDDIs or the, uh, each regions and the fiber providers. And so the, in the facility level and the, and the fiber land level, and we, we, uh, we in, investigate the, and the locations and all of, and of course, it's from the data centers and and the router is also separated and the internal connection connection is also not close and to help the other and uh, PD uh, and fiber connection room and then the and the provider if the we choose the one line the NPT was one line if yes, of course KDDI and route is uh, from the Tokyo to Osaka in the if the one good choice in and uh, Shizai, South Area is the one is to head the mount to the and uh, Nagano or the Niigata and then go, go to the and uh, upper the Biako and Kyoto and Osaka that line is uh, near the Nara or the south of the Osaka then and Osaka Tosh area. And this, this is uh, and our uh, general and, uh, and infrastructure and design to avoid uh, any any risks. So the two uh, more two minutes and uh, more one question I will accept you. Okay, and of course, and uh, I can uh, answer the, uh, the question and after the discussion. え、作られる場合に、あの、各各国の、え、法律遵守をやらなきゃいけないとおっしゃった。で、あの、ま、差し支えないという結構なんですが、え、ブラジルに、あの、学生さん、発射されて可愛いを作られていらっしゃるのか
this and the low low issues in the, uh, each data center region and Brazil and we we don't we, we don't have the and uh, Brazil data center <laughs> and but the, in case of the Europe or the Indonesia it has uh, and very very uh, heavy and uh, data pro protection level and so the, if the, we put it into the and pass some data in the European side and uh, we could not transfer the other uh, region from the EU is a very big and uh, hard road and so the so the and uh, Michelle, I'm, I'm an infrastructure engineer, and so the, I'm not so familiar with uh, these uh, issues, but the uh, uh, application side and the EU side is uh, uh, already know the decision and so the avoid the if, uh, this and row issues. So the, uh, uh, it's uh, hard to try things for the row issues. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you for the coming and for the information. <laughs> <laughs>